Hello beautiful and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this video where we are going to do the ultimate, the ultimate <gasps> collab palette bingo. I have 11 collab palettes here, collaborations between some of my favorite influencers and some of my favorite brands and I am going to do a palette bingo with all of these. <laughs> and hopefully I will look like a pretty happy clown and not like, you know, the sad happy clown at the end. And if you haven't been here before, if this is your first video here, hello, my name is Angie. I am such a lover of beauty makeup. I love everything beauty makeup related, especially I love things that are a little bit more colorful. So I'm hoping that that's what we're going to get today. But we have 11 chances to get something colorful. So fingers crossed. And if you want to see some more makeup on your timeline, don't forget to subscribe because I upload five this week. I woke up today not feeling the most motivated. I had chocolate for breakfast and I was feeling a little bit moody and then I got my period and everything just, you know, you know when it all makes sense? <laughs> That's when it all made sense. So I was like, let's not do anything serious today. I brought out uh, the 11 collab palettes that I have in my collection right now. I do also have the Michaela and Glam Life uh, palette, but I actually have not still used it. You can ring the shame bell, but I will use that at some point. So that's why I'm not including that one in here. So I have 11 collab palettes that I have in my collection and we are gonna do a random number generator, basically drawing a number from each palette. This is how palette bingo works on YouTube. You choose palettes. Usually people pick five palettes or they pick a palette and pick five num like shades from that palette. You can do whatever you want, but it's all about letting someone else or a random number generator, like generate the shades or the palettes that you are gonna be picking. So it's like a little bit of a challenge. This is one of the makeup challenges that I love the most on YouTube and I have done this quite a lot of times. I think I might even have a playlist and I will put this video in that playlist, like all about makeup bingos. I think there might be a playlist for that. I have a, a sneaking suspicion. If not, I'm gonna make one because I've made quite a few. I have made, <laughs> I made a paper so I can swatch the shade. I thought that would be the easiest. So it is my palette, the one we have now, the Hella palette. I don't have the Kaleidos, should I bring that one out? Should we have 12 palettes? Okay, let me bring out the Club Nebula as well. <sighs> this is gonna be a mix of palettes that are available and not available. I just wanna have fun. I just wanna inspire you to play with makeup. Just have a little bit of fun. And now we're having 12 palettes. <laughs> wow, I'm also wearing garbage person. I'm wearing my Teresa's Dead merch. I love me some Teresa and I also have a link to my merch down below in case you're interested in that. Okay, back with the Club Nebula as well. We'll take that one um, last. I'm putting it on my list. Nebula. Oh boy. Okay, this is the first palette I'm gonna pick. This is the palette. This is available still, at least when I'm filming this. We are low on stock on what I think is the first batch. And we also have a second batch coming in. There should be a restock after this one, uh, but I don't think there will be a restock after the second batch. This is just me guessing, stab in the dark. If anything changes, I will always let you know. I want to be as like transparent as possible with you. And we will do a number one to 16 and we are getting 16, which is the metallic black okay we are starting out strong with this metallic black that i had redone a couple of times because i wanted it to be blacker <laughs> and shinier because i didn't want it to be a satin it is really hard to make dark shadows have a high shine because of the pigment putting it here but you can you just need to be a little bit picky and I was very picky. The next one in my pile is the oldest palette in my collection, and this is the Makeup Geek and Manny MUA palette. This one has nine shades, and we are getting number two. Ooh, it is the shadow here. So this is a light matte color. I feel like this is gonna be very easy to incorporate in this look. I'm kinda happy that we're getting that. Oh wait, I don't have them in order. Next one is Teresa is Dead garbage person and lethal cosmetics this is the lethal is dead palette this is also nine different shadows so number five which is this is when it's going to start getting hard it is this like lime green called body snatch <sighs> can you tell i'm rethinking my life oh my okay gonna be fun it's gonna be fun 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 
This is Incendio. This is the collab palette between Gloss Gods and Margherita Grass. Maggie is a friend of mine. Gloss Gods is a Swedish indie brand, and this is now part of their permanent line. Let's see what we get. This is a really lovely palette. This also has nine shades. Number six. I'm worried. It is this like almost... What is this? Like a rose gold? Yeah, I would say that this is like a slight like peach. Maybe like a light peach shimmer. That's not bad though. Because this is, uh, again, one of those shades that you can get away with in a lot of different looks. I'm trying to swatch. This is not easy to swatch on paper. Let me, let me tell you that. It didn't swatch the best on paper, but you can see the color story. Okay, now we have At Forest Sight, which is the Rob Beauty Christie and Colourpop collab. I do think they have discontinued this one, if I'm not mistaken. And I got number 10. What are we getting? That will be Emerald City, right? Six, no, eight. <laughs> I have an A plus in math, can you tell? So it's Emerald City. Okay, so this could work really good with a light green. Listen, Lady Luck is shining at like down on us with her happy face. Okay, I'm excited about this. Listen, it's all working out for the better. Look at this color scheme all of a sudden. Rob Beauty Christie coming in clutch with that one, and this is the Anastasia and uh, Jackie Aina palette. I have only used this palette once on my channel, so I'm excited to use it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This has 14 shades, and we are getting number 12, which is edges then. This, like, uh, clay brown matte. That's not a bad shade. I think at this point, can we get a couple of more shimmers to make this a little easier? We have the Hummingbird, the Red Dragon, and the Giant Wolves palette. These are palettes from Odin's Eye, that is the collaboration that they had before. So this is with Tina the Fancy Face and Net from Net's Makeup Corner and Judy. And these have, so I'm not mistaken, these have 12 shadows each. Um, and I'm randomizing, so 12. Ooh, it's gonna be so hard. That pastely blue, where, where am I putting this pastely blue? And then we are getting number one. <laughs> that is a brown. It is this sunrise up here. Yeah, those don't go together. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Like, we, no, really. Did you get the oh my? And then for Annette's palette, we're also getting number one, which is, oh, a shimmer. <laughs> I've never been so happy about a shimmer. It is this like goldy duochrome topper shade. It is super, super pretty. And we are putting that here. This did not swatch that good on paper though, but it's, I mean, paper is not, I don't, do you, yeah, you see it a little bit here. Paper is not where you're supposed to swatch this one. So. Can't be really mad about that. I have my friend Samantha Marsh's collab with Ofra. This is the Lives a Draft, and I am only gonna pick these eight shades up here. I'm not gonna pick uh, the other shades because those are cheat shades. You can use them as eyeshadows, but I'm not. I'm getting number six. There's only one left. Oh, and the Club Nebula. Okay, number six is this red here. That could be good though, together with like that ABH shade because it is like a little darker than that one, right? That could work out, although these are a lot of shades. It's, it's turning out to be a bit of a half neutral, half like grungy green palette, but then there's this pop of blue that I literally have no idea where to put. Watch me get the dark blue from the Club Nebula. Then we're doing the Tiny Marvels palette. This is the collaboration between um, Sydney Grace and Mel Thompson. If you buy this palette, I do think it's still available. Uh, Mel Thompson's family still gets uh, the proceeds from this, like, she still gets her cut, the, her family, that's what I wanted to say. And we are getting number two, which is a Tree Hopper. Uh, it is in neutral shades. I think this is going to be, this is probably going to be pretty much the exact same shade as the shadow from the Makeup Geek and Manny palette. So I'm probably not going to have any problems at all putting that into the palette because I'm pretty sure that they are going to look somewhat similar. Okay, so this is the color story right now. 
And now we have the Club Nebula palette. This is the collab that I did with uh, Kaleidos last year. Oh, this is one of my more pristine palettes. I, I do have a couple laying around. This one also has 15 shades. We are randomizing number 10, which is Cylon over here, the dark purple. I mean, I was gonna say, what am I gonna do with that? But I'm gonna have to do something with that. There's, I mean, I love an all matte look, but this is a little bit chaotic. Okay, so this is Cylon. I'm gonna need to think a little bit. I think I'm gonna start with the Lethal is Dead and the light green that we have here that's called Body Snatched. Is that a cat hair? Let's get rid of that one. And I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do that out here. <sighs> this is gonna be fun. But I think I'm doing that out here. And then I'll do the dark green like in the outer corner and i think i'll do the dark purple from club nebula uh on like the lower lash line and the absolute outer corner of the lower lash line okay so i'm gonna put that palette here what am i doing famous last words and then we're gonna go into at forest sight and we are gonna deepen this up a little bit with the emerald city and I think we're basically gonna go from here. I'm gonna do the neutrals in the inner part. And then I think we're gonna do the light blue in the inner corner. And we are gonna use the uh, the light gold duochrome from the um, Annette, like the Giant Wolf's palette. We're gonna use that on top. I, I was gonna say to mask it, but like the only thing that doesn't fit in this color scheme is that light blue color. And I think it's such a pretty color, but I just, I need to transform it somehow so that it fits in with this, with this like theme. Okay, so that escalated quickly with only two shades and I need to stop right now. <laughs> stop. Stop because you need to put more shades in here. Oh my Lord. Okay, I'm gonna do, I have no clean brushes. I swear it's a problem. Some can't save me. Why is my husband not cleaning my brushes anymore? Why am I not taking the time out of my day to clean my brushes? That's the biggest one. Okay, we are gonna use, I'm gonna start with this one from Tiny Marvels. It's like a slightly lighter one. This one, the Tree Hopper. I'm gonna start with that one in the inner part of my crease and just buff that a little bit. I do have a little bit of creasing from my primer because I have a fold so I think I'm just gonna start buffing this one. You see, it gives just a little bit of color. So I'm just gonna start buffing that one and I'm gonna buff it all the way up to the brow and blend a little bit into this green. And now I'm gonna go into the Judy palette and I'm gonna use the one that's called Sunrise and I'm gonna take that one I think on the same brush, and I'm just gonna be a little bit more deliberate with that one and put it like in the socket. Like here. These fit perfectly with these greens. That looks amazing. Like this could be a look on its own, but no, I have eight more shades to choose from. Choose from, I, I'm not choosing, I'm forced. I'm gonna use the ABH and I'm gonna use the one from Samantha's palette and I am gonna deepen this up. I think I am, oh, maybe I'll use this, um, this one actually because I have no clean brushes. So this is Edges. Sorry if you hear my dog in the background, but I mean, he lives here. I'm gonna use Edges down here Oh, this is turning in to be quite the look. And I think I'm gonna use the red shade here to just blend these together. Wait, why do I love this? Oh my. I jinxed it, didn't I? I think I jinxed it. And now we're going into that slightly darker, more ready one. And we are gonna put that here. I can't do too much blending here because it will become a little muddy because like 
if you mix a red with a green, you will get brown, which is not the end of the world. I just need to make sure that that's not taking up too big of a space. I'm stamping it on like that. And then I think actually with this brush, I'm actually going to clean this off a little bit. And I'm going to go into the shade from Judy's palette again. The one that's a little mustardy. And I'm just going to blend a little bit on the edge. Oh my god, I have a plan. I have I have a plan. I, ha I had an ep epiphany. Ep epitome? Epiphany. Epiphany or epitome? Epiphany. Yes, I had an epiphany. An epitome is something else. My dog is very loud in the in the in the background. I'm gonna use the Cylon shade and I'm gonna blend that out with that pastely blue. And then I'm gonna put these red shades here and the shimmers on the lid. I'm a genius. I'm a genius. Okay, so now we're taking the light blue and we are gonna buff on the edge here. Just because I need to put this light blue somewhere. And I think that this is going to be the best option for us. I think this is a really nice color. It just didn't fit with the color scheme. I'm going to work with that. And also put the red, those two red shades, I'm going to put those here as well. I think what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go in with the Hella palette. And I think I'm going to use the shimmery black just like out here to smudge a little bit on the lash line and to really deepen up this dark part out here and then I'm gonna use the shimmer I have the rose gold from Incendio and I have the one from um, the Annette palette and oh I have the beige one from the Makeup Geek palette I'm gonna use that to buff uh, on my uh, on my like um, brow bone just to buff the shades it could be nice I think that this is going to be perfect I'm not spraying if you work with it dry and like with the brush it like will perform more like a black satin if you use your finger or if you spray it you will get a high high shine intensity for being this dark of a shade but I just want to keep it like this and I think I'm just gonna take a little bit of this blending brush and just like keeping it a little bit, I don't wanna say low key, but like just blending it with that dark green, keeping it a little grungy out here, right? And then we can go in with the one from my friend Maggie's palette, which was the rose gold shade. So instead I'm gonna spray this one and I'm gonna put that on this part. I have a little bit of fallout here because when you start manipulating a metallic with a dry brush, you do get a little fallout. And this is why I usually spray my brushes. And then we have this peach one here. Something like that. Is this looking so pretty so before i do any inner corner highlight i'm using that light shade here that is called it is beaches and cream so this is a shadow that is i don't know if they still have this one from makeup geek but i'm just buffing a little bit on the edges with this one so it's looking a little bit more on the clean side i usually don't do a step like this because honestly what I'm creating is not like Instagram makeup. I'm creating makeup that I'm going to go and walk my dog. I'm going to walk my dog in this. I don't care if it's a million percent blended. I'm just here to have a little fun. But it does help to blend the edges a little bit. Now, let's finish this side up with the Giant's Wolves and the Astral Shade. And then I'm going to finish this look up and we can just see what it looks like. I'm going to spray this one as well so we can get a little really beamy, beamy in the corner highlight. Ooh, look at that. Okay, so that's gonna be the finished look. I honestly think I did so good with the 12 shades that was given to me. I really like this. 
Go me! Team Angie! Am I gonna change the lippy? I just have a lip oil on. I kinda wanna do like a nice orange. Let me do that. Orange it is. Oh, orange is always a good idea. Look at me brushing my hair. Who would have thought? I changed to the Jeanette Alien Cosmetics lipstick. This is such a beautiful, like, murky, grungy, orangey brown that's just absolutely wonderful this formula is so beautiful so comfortable so thin thin and comfortable but still super opaque i really really do like it so that is what i changed to i also did an eyeliner i haven't done like liquid liner in i want to say almost a month sometimes i don't feel it like i don't feel it but i was feeling it today but this is the look i really do like it i think it looks Super cool. Do I need to wash my hair? At least maybe some dry shampoo. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you've ever done a palette bingo. Listen, don't think that you can't do makeup challenges even if you're not on Instagram, even if you're not on YouTube, even if you're not like doing content. This is supposed to be fun. Makeup challenges is the perfect way for you to just try something new, find new color combos, find new palettes that go together, sit down on a Saturday, do a palette bingo. Maybe you don't have to do 12. Maybe you can take a palette that you haven't used for a bit, draw five random numbers, create a look and just have a little bit of fun. I really like doing palette bingles. It's been a little bit since I did one. If I don't have a playlist, like I said, I will create one down below because yeah, I really do like palette bingles. Let me know your thoughts and I will see you again tomorrow for a new video. Bye.